Hello and welcome to Ginger Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Eclipse with the MCP. Um, to use the MCP, click on the previous video, which I'll show a link now, I think. And this will show you how to install the MCP uh, so you can create your Minecraft mod. But now we're going to use Eclipse so we actually can use it as our IDE instead than just using another one. Because this one is actually makes it a bit simpler to compile stuff. Um, now all we need to do is I'll have to go open up Eclipse. I've already got it open. Goodbye. And we create a new project. So file, new, Java project. Now we're going to name this. And we're going to name it... Oh, I'm going to name it... Uh, Minecraft underscore YouTube. With a capital Y. I, I like capitals. And then I'm going to change the location of it. I'm going to change it to... Oops, sorry, in there. <laughs> I've already been testing. So you go to your MCP folder. And then click Eclipse. And save it. Actually, should I... Do you put it in there or do I put it in... There? Um, I'll just save it. Click, oh, click open. Yeah. I'll save it in there. And then click uh, Finish. And there, we've created it. Now, we need to link the um, source code for it. So we need to go to right click on the project um, build link source now we need to browse to it now if we go to our MCP folder then go to the source folder and click on Minecraft and click open then click finish and there we go all our source is linked and it's all in there now hey presto but as you noticed there's loads of errors we're getting here but to solve this problem, all we have to do is you have to right click on your project again and then go to build path and then click configure build path. And then go to Java build path and libraries. Now the reason why it doesn't work is these classes are referencing well Java files which don't exist. And these Java, fi these Java files are in these jars. So what we need to do is we need to add external jars that's already done for me, but I'll show you again. You go to your MCP folder again. You go to your jars folder, and then go into bin. And then choose all of them. Click open. And that should be done now. You might have seen the time skip. I just paused for a second. And now let's see. Where is it? Now, we've next thing we've got to do is you're going to toggle down the lightweight java open gel language whatever thing um, and you open that up now where it says native library you need to edit that click on it and edit now find the external folder now the external folder will be in your mcp your java fi jar files and then your bin and then you click natives and then click open that click ok and then click ok and the, all your uh, all those errors have disappeared now. <gasps> Magic! Now, if I click unclick the uh, Minecraft source, here's all the source code. As you can see, all of it. Uh, Magic, hey. Now that's now all we need to know. But if you want to run the Minecraft game in here, so you can test and debug it. Um, the way I do it is you go on to uh, how do we do it? Right click on Run. I need to run. Uh, go on to wrong configuration, sorry. Uh, I'm not with it. That's the other one I'm using. And then you need to create a new Java application and new configuration. Now I'm going to choose the Minecraft YouTube one. And then we choose the class. The Minecraft, this one here, the Minecraft, not net.minecraft.client.minecraft. And that's the main class that will run everything for Minecraft pretty much. So I'm just going to apply. And you don't have to click run, but I'm just going to run to see if it works or not. And there we go. So there's our console to see if it works. And it works for us. So we just test a new world. New world. This is just to test if it's working or fine. No bugs or anything. And... Oh, there we go. So it seems like it's worked. Nice. So tune in for the next tutorial and I will be teaching you actually how to make some speed sand which is a block that I've created which allows you to walk upon it and go stupidly fast. So see you then. Mm -hmm.